Hi, and welcome to this live reading from The Colors of Friendship, The Colors Trilogy, Book One, by K.R. Ray, and this is presented by Itsy Bitsy Book Bits. Prologue. Cold. Hard. Steel. Pressed against her forehead. Melody closed her eyes and willed the situa situation away, but when she reopened them, the gun remained lodged between her eyes. The setting sun painted a crimson swath across the budding landscape. Crimson red. Blood red. Oh, God, how did it all lead to this, she wondered, as the ice-cold barrel ironically seemed to sear her skin like a poker fresh from a stoked fire. Her blood ran cold through her veins, and her body began to shake. Why? The faster her mind raced, the more she trembled. Her friends had warned her, but she didn't want to believe them. If only she had listened to Imani or stayed with Lance, things might have ended differently, but then again, what if her friends were wrong? Imani and Lance always meddled in her business. They were too overbearing and judgmental. Really, they had no one to blame but themselves. In fact, if they weren't but here butting in now, making the situation worse. The gun dug further into her forehead, threatening to break skin. Melody realized as cold dread soaked her skin, it didn't matter whose fault it was. All three of them were going to die here tonight. The Alpha Party, January 2000. Phew, we made it, Melody Wilkins said with a laugh as she, Lance Dunn, and Amani Jordan escaped the throng of fraternity partygoers. Amani brushed past Melody, eager to re enjoy the relative oasis of the makeshift bar. She pulled up a stool and swallowed her disappointment. During their mad, congested dash from the front door to the back bar, she scanned the 200-plus hard-dancing students looking for Trevor, but to no avail. She pasted on a smile to prevent Melody or Lance from misinterpreting things. Hell, even if she didn't know what to expect from the Trevor situation. All she knew was that she liked hanging out with him in and out of class. Monty checked her expression in the nick of time before Lance caught her eye. Lance winked and arranged his muscular six-foot-two frame into a GQ stance while he stroked his goatee, a pose that he assumed oozed sexy charm. Please, like he didn't already generate enough attention when they entered the fraternity house, working the room like a campaigning politician or the ridiculous jock he was. Amani tried to choke back a guffaw as Melody watched her in amusement. But much to Amani's awe and chagrin, Lance's ridiculous antics started working. Four attractive girls honed in on Lance's horny homing beacon, their mouths almost salv salivating. What the hell? Amani frowned as two of the girls shot her and Melody jealous daggers. All of this unwarranted tension just because Lance played football the last two games of the season and played well? Amani sucked her teeth and turned to the bar. Damn, I'm ready to get my swerve on. Well, you deserve a drink, Melody replied as she hopped her petite frame onto a stool to Amani's left. Melody's thick blonde curls bounced about like springs. Heck, after our intense studying all week and your physics exam today, you deserve to unwind. Right on cue, the attractive fraternity brother acting as the bartender meandered over. What can I get you, sugar? Two amaretto sours, she said, gesturing to Melody and herself, and one vodka tonic for him, she said, nodding towards Lance. Sure thing, sugar, he replied with a wink. After the flirty bartender departed, she elbowed Lance in his side. You're awful quiet. I'm sure he's thinking of what I'm thinking, Melody said, swiveling her stool around to fa face them, looking at all these beautiful faces and wondering which person is the one, that magical one, true love. Oh, Lord, here we go, Amani moaned and leaned back against the bar. Ah, let me handle this, Amani, Lance clapped Melody's back. Dear, deluded Melody, he said, then he stroked his mustache and goatee. In actuality, I was looking at all of these beautiful women and wondering which one is going to end up in my bed. However, it seems I need to school you. He cleared his throat and his deep voice took on a pe preacher-like quality. Love is highly overrated. It's this fantasy land you read about and those harlequin rags you devour. A vicious lie parents tell their little girls. He shook his head and shrugged. That's why the divorce rate is so high. Unreasonable expectations. Thoughts, Amani? Melody smiled, knowing she could get a rise out of her. Melody's gray-green eyes twinkled in anticipation against her golden-tanned skin. 
Lance is kind of right. I mean, Amani's nose scrunched up, hating to agree with Lance. You're one of these women that fosters unrealistic fantasies about the fairy tale wedding and living happily ever after. That shit don't happen. Amani threw Lance a scathing look. But love does exist, and it ain't overrated. Lance laughed and shrugged. Tomato, tomato. Well, when is it going to happen? Melody asked. I mean, we're already halfway through our freshman year of college. Oh, girl, please. Amani wanted to pop her upside the head. One, it's the year 2000. College is no longer a freaking honey ground for husbands. Two, you don't need a man. You need an education. Pay your own damn way. Three, we're only freshmen. So what the hell's your rush? Amen, Lance replied, clapping both their backs. In a flash, he stood up straight. Well, as pleasant as this conversation has been, a sweet, shy-looking cutie with cinnamon-colored skin and an asymmetrical bob gathered up enough courage to approach Lance. Would you like to dance? Lance took her hand without a word and twirled her towards the dance floor. The two melted into the mass of writhing dancers, leaving Amani and Melody shaking their heads. Well, that's a new record. He didn't even get his, first, his drink first, muttered Melody. Right on time, the bartender set their drinks down and left with a wink. Grateful, Amani took a big gulp of the amaretto sour and let its sweetness smooth out her rough edges. I wish I could get a guy that easily. Melody released a wistful sigh. Satisfied for the moment, Amani pushed her drink away. No, you don't want Lance's shallow, short-term sluts. You want to be swept away by your one true love. You insinuating there's something wrong with that? My parents met as sophomores, and they had the perfect fairy tale relationship. And you're not your damn parents, she wanted to say, but she held her tongue. No, just telling you why you won't find anyone here tonight. Amani swallowed more amaro sour. Not acceptable. I'm finding someone now. Melody chugged a drink, hopped off the stool, and approached the nearest cute guy. Would you like to dance? The cute brunette eyed Melody, decided he liked what he saw, and escorted her onto the dance floor. And that just leaves me. Amani sighed, emptied her cup, and picked up Lance's. Wondering why she even bothered to come, she crunched on an ice cube until it shattered. This seat taken? asked a man as he sat down uninvited on Melody's bar stool. Yes, it is taken, she snarled, eyes closed, willing herself to not to go off on the intruder. Damn, Amani, your the physics test wasn't so bad that you diss your friends like that, the familiar voice complained. Amani opened her eyes to find her homeboy from the Bronx. Trevor Mathis. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Trev, she replied, giving her tall, lanky, dark chocolate friend a relieved hug. I guess I'm too tired tonight to deal with the whole party scene, she smiled and put this aside. Besides, you know I'd never diss my boy like that. <laughs> That's a relief, he said, pretending to wipe his forehead. Trev laughed, then hesitated, and Amani could tell that he toyed with what to say next. Hey, do you want to dance or just chill? Knowing she'd reached her alcohol limit, Amani tapped her toes. Trev put most video dancers to shame with his moves, and it elevated her game whenever she partnered with him. After you. Trev shot her his big toothy grin, took her hand, and led her onto the dance floor. Soon enough, he had her feeling as comfortable as they did when they studied together for hours. The easy way they knew each other's moves and thoughts. As the beat invaded Amani's body, she surrendered to the music, and her tension melted away like cotton candy on the tongue. Maybe parties weren't so bad after all. Then, someone pinched her ass.